Good day, students. Theme 4, at the end, you must be able to calculate the distance and the area on both of a map and the autophoto. But before you can start doing that, you need to understand what the scale of the map and the autophoto mean. And to master the skill, what's required from you is to convert from a word scale to a ratio scale and from a ratio scale to a word scale. So the first skill is to use the conversion table and that is kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Say for example, you want to change millimeters into meters. So you then ask yourself how many millimeters in one meter. So the unit you know is one meter and then you just add zeros until you get to millimeters and there you can see a thousand. If you want to know how many meters in a kilometer, again, which one do you know? Kilometer, and you add zeros until you get two meters. And you will see again the answer is a thousand. If you use this conversion scale, or whether you use your calculator, please count the number of zeros. The most often mistake students make in this type of calculation is using the incorrect number of zeros. So let's start uh, with example one in section 3.1. You are asked to change a word scale to a ratio scale. You've got two distances, six kilometers per 15 centimeters. So step number one is to write this down as an equation. And the tip is always start at a map distance. Now one of them will be the map distance and one of them will be the real life distance. Now, common sense should say to you, you do not get a map that is 6 kilometers in size. So, obviously, 15 centimeters is your map distance. So, you will start off by, say, 15 centimeters on map equals 6 kilometers on ground, or you can use other words like in reality. So, you need to change this in a ratio scale and a ratio scale is always one to something so i need to change this 15 to one but if you look closely this is in centimeters and this is in kilometers so you cannot even start changing anything until you convert both of these measurements to a common unit now you can either take the 15 centimeters and convert it to kilometers or convert the kilometers to 15 centimeters Again, my advice is take the bigger unit, in this case the kilometers, and convert it to the smaller unit, centimeters. So you now know you have to take this six kilometers and you need to convert it into meters. And how do you do this? You take your conversion table and you say one kilometer is how many centimeters? And if we add zeros, you will see it's a one with five zeros, so a hundred thousand. Again, remember to count the zeros. So if you take the six kilometers and you multiply it by a hundred thousand, you are converting it into centimeters. So you will get 15 centimeters equals 600,000 centimeters. Only now you will go and convert the 15 centimeters into one and how you do it is dividing by 15 what you do on the left hand side you do on the right hand side 15 can't go into 6 15 goes into 64 times and you're left with one two three four zeros so now you can say one centimeter equals 40,000 centimeters but please note, this is not a ratio scale. So your last step would be 1 to 40,000. And that will be your answer. Now the nice thing about the ratio scale, you can assign any unit of measurement you want to. You can say 1 millimeter equals 40,000 millimeters or 1 meter equals 40,000 meters. It doesn't matter. But you will see a ratio scale is always unit 3 because you can uh, assign any unit you want to. So let's look at a second example under section 3.1. Here you've got 100 meters per 2 millimeters. Again, step number one, write it down 
as an equation, starting with the map distance. So 2 millimeters on the map equals 100 meters on the ground. Again, like the previous example, they are not the same unit. So I'm going to take this meters and I'm going to change them to millimeters. And people, if you use your conversion table, you don't write one or two or six or whatever. You stick with one. So you now have meters and you need to change it into millimeters. So one meter and you add zeros until you get to millimeters. And you will see the answer is a thousand. So two millimeters on this side. I take this hundred and I multiply it by a thousand. By multiplying it by a thousand, I'm changing, changing it into millimeters. And let me just grab your calculator and show you. So, you have a hundred meters, and count the zeros on your calculator, and you multiply it by one, two, three, a thousand. And this is where you often also make a mistake. You miss one, so count the zeros, one, two, three, four, five. So you see your answer here is a hundred thousand millimeters. At this stage you should know we always indicate a ratio scale as one to something. So to get one on this side I divide by two. What I do on the left hand side I do on the right hand side. One millimeter equals two goes into ten in five times and I'm left with one, two, three, four zeros. 50,000 millimeters. Again, this is not my final answer. My final answer is thus 1 to 50,000. So this video showed you how to convert from a, ratio, a word scale to a ratio scale.